Hi there, this is Northern Access, and today we're going to show you how to do a firmware upgrade on the uh, Cobham Explorer 510 satellite internet data terminal. Uh, so we're just going to get right started, and uh, just to let you know real quick, the user's manual that comes with the uh, Explorer 510 on page 67 of the user's manual it does have everything you need to know about doing the firmware upgrade. Uh, there's actually the beginning of the uh, page 67 right here, as you can kind of see. It uh, simply states software update, and then it goes from 67 uh, into uh, close to page 69, and it goes over the ways to do it. Uh, so. As far as doing the firmware update on the, uh, the Big Amp 510 goes, there's actually three ways to actually go about it. The first way is uh, a general maintenance type of firmware upgrade. You know, just uh, if there's a new firmware update that comes out, the kind of uh, thing that you're going to load onto the terminal just by uh, running the, uh, the cord directly from the terminal into your laptop. The other way is if you don't have your laptop, uh, you can actually uh, install the firmware on a USB drive and have it ready to go and, uh, and reflash the terminal with the, uh, the firmware or software. And then the third way is basically if you, let's say you cannot access the dashboard of the terminal, something's going on with the terminal, you, it's not working, then you can basically do a full recover uh, with uh, the last way. So we're going to just briefly show you all the ways on how to do that. <clears throat> so the first way, of course, is uh, your general maintenance firmware software upgrade, which you're going to want to do by basically uh, turning on your lap or the, the Begin Explorer 510, and then uh, I've already got the uh, uh, the manual pulled up here that I can kind of show you a few things on that as well and you're also going to want to have your USB to Ethernet adapter which we already have plugged into the side of the terminal you can see right there the USB uh, adapter or plug is on the side of the terminal which is the left side and then uh, you plug your Ethernet into the other side of the adapter right here and then of course you got that going into the laptop so to get that started we're going to go ahead and power on the terminal and uh, if you've already used the terminal which probably you already have you remember that the minute you power on the terminal it goes through a series of uh, of things and then lastly you'll start hearing the auditory commands uh, where it goes into pointing mode uh, so when you're doing a reflash of course the minute you hear it start going into pointing mode, you're going to want to hit the power button real quick just to silence it. So we'll wait for that to happen. There it goes. So we hit that power button real quick to silence it. And now we have uh, our terminal on, so we can go ahead and go into our dashboard of the, uh, the terminal itself just to kind of show you what you're going to go through. Also, too, just to let you know, uh, for all firmware uh, downloads, we're going to be loading them onto our Cobham Thron or Cobham and Thron equipment support. You can see right here. There's the 510 terminal support, and currently we have the Cobham Explorer 510 version uh, 101. We also have the Android Connect application download and the, uh, the complete user's manual uh, that you can also download as well. So basically uh, everything is right here on the site that you need to do uh, all these things that we're going to go over here tonight. So basically, uh, first, I guess the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and uh, download the firmware. And I'll show you what it looks like when you're going to download it. You click that and then it's automatically going to come up with a screen that shows uh, these crazy numbers. It's uh, Tango Tango 3711 Alpha dot Tango India India Foxtrot. Now that particular number, if you were to go to the Cobham.com website and do the download from there and uh, the firmware download from there, 
to actually go through this whole process, you would have to rename the firmware to this particular name right here because that is actually how the, the BGAN itself identifies the firmware. So no matter what firmware upgrade it is, it has to be named just like that. So if you go to our website, we've already got it uh, named for you. So the minute you download it, it's already going to be named. Uh, so once you download it, then you can uh, just put it right there on your desktop. And then uh, we'll go ahead and go to the uh, dashboard of the terminal. And if you've already operated the terminal, which you probably have by now, you know that uh, to go to the dashboard, you enter in 192.168.0.1 and then hit enter or go. And then it brings us up into the uh, dashboard of the terminal. So from here, you're going to go right down to uh, the bottom here. And you see where the uh, the settings icons are. If you can see where my uh, my mouse is hovering. Anyway, it's the middle icon. Click on that, and then you're going to want to scroll down to the bottom. Click on support, and then you see right there where it says update software. And then from there, you can hit update software. Now, I'm not going to do it here because it goes through the process and I don't want it to start actually upgrading to the, the software. But the minute you click it, another file window is going to pop up and give you the uh, option to browse. So you'll end up clicking on desktop and then selecting that, that particular firmware that you would have downloaded from our website. Which our website, by the way, is at northernaccess.com. That's northern and then access is spelled alpha x-ray charlie echo sierra sierra so that's northern a x c e s s dot com and then that's on the uh the the support which is at the top right of our website so basically uh that's how you do the very first one we'll go into the second one which is fairly simple uh so once you've downloaded the firmware from our website Basically, what you'll do in that case is you're going to install a flash drive that's completely wiped out, completely empty. We already have one that's installed here on our, uh, our laptop. And then you're going to take the firmware that you have on your, your desktop and drop it into uh, your flash drive. Now, remember, when you download the firmware, it's going to be in a zip file, so you're going to have to open that up and then just drop in the regular folder. Do not do it by the zip file. Uh, so you can see here it's already named by that name that we uh, that I was telling you about earlier. And then um, all you do from there is uh, go ahead and unplug your your USB drive. And then you're going to go ahead and plug it into the same place that you have your USB right here. So with the terminal already on, you, like it is now, basically you can plug the uh, USB directly into that and the lights on the back are going to start uh, flashing uh, a green to let you know that the firmware upgrade is in process, or, or blue I think it is, and then the green is actually to let you know that it's finished. So the terminal is, is set to automatically recognize the, uh, the, the uh, firmware file itself that's named by that. Now the third way to do it is if your terminal is completely you know non-functional then you're gonna do something completely different. So you're gonna have to have that uh, same USB flash drive set up exactly the same way but the only difference is is that you're going to uh, I got a pen here to kind of show you. There is a a reset button that's actually right in here where the SIM card is. You can kind of see it. Let me kind of point to it here. You can see that. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to uh, hit that reset button. Hold that down and the power button at the exact same time. Hold that down for roughly about 10 seconds. 
and then the firm or the the unit itself is going to go into a uh, a different mode into kind of a, a restore mode the minute that it does that it's going to start flashing some lights again hold it down for about 10 seconds and then after you let both of them go then go ahead and take the uh, same USB drive and put it into the the USB slot that's on the other end of the terminal and then wait until uh, the unit will start flashing blue uh, as far as the lights go and then after that once you see it flash green then uh, your terminal has completed the process of uploading the the uh, firmware itself and that is the way to do it with the uh, the third way now remember if I've missed anything on this which I hopefully haven't but I'm trying to do it kind of quickly just to go through some of this or all three of the steps uh, you can see all of this on your uh, the uh, owner's manual here which has everything there's the first way and then the second way to update it by software or with the USB and then of course the third way is to do a complete recovery software update which explains it all right there so if you have any questions please feel free to call us at Northern Access at 877-299-9931 and uh, even if you're not one of our customers, we'd be glad to help you out and get you through the process if you uh, are having trouble doing any of these steps right here. So uh, thanks again for watching. And uh, this is Northern Access with the firmware upgrade methods for the Explorer 510 BGAN Terminal.